back to the channel, following on from the last episode, still on the XL1000 Varadero 2001 model. Really pleased with how we've got so far. Everything of the engine is basically back in situ. So it's nice to actually get all them heads refreshed and, and put back in. I still haven't forgotten that I've still got to torque the main crank bolt on the pulley. That will be done when it's down on the ground and everything is connected. Today on the bench, we're going back in with basically the plumbing. Get the radiators back in, get all the hoses back in, get it all connected. I've also got the air box and the air suction unit all still connected. The carbs have got to go back in situ, tighten them down. I've given the radiators a quick clean up. They haven't come up brilliantly, but they say they are quite old. I say, and also given the coolant over the reservoir bottle a, a clean as well. So that's the plan for today: is to crack through as much of this as possible, get all the let's say get the radiators back in place, get them all plumbed in, and then start moving back up through the bike, and hopefully get to the stage where I can start putting bodywork. Uh, exhaust etc back on. I've tried to split this up into smaller segments so I'm sorry if it's gone on quite long but as I've tended to notice with a lot of the videos I do if I make them too long people just don't you know the, 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 the attention span just goes so I thought if I just cut them down to sort of 15 20 minutes of time and just concentrate on one thing then people you can obviously go back and just look at that particular section of the video again I, I rely on people's feedback so let me know in the comments box below how you think you like the videos to run some of the videos that I shoot I don't realize how long they are until I actually start sitting there and start editing and then, and then you realise that wow, oh, I've got a couple of hours of footage that I need to cram into, and sometimes it's just too much. So I'll actually sometimes record a video, and then when I come to edit, I'll just cut it in half. I'll find a point where it's easy to end it and continue. So there was an episode a couple of episodes ago where it was it was I believe it was the reinstalling the front cylinder and getting everything done on that. I ended up with somewhere near just under an hour of edited footage so I just chopped it in half. But say so, I always rely on your feedback so let me know in the comments box below what you think, how you like the videos to be, what you like to see in the videos. I do try and show as much as I can sometimes it is difficult when you're trying to move the camera and trying to work and trying not to be in the way so obviously you can see it but as I say so today we're going to crack on get some more back on this bike I need this back down on the ground as soon as possible but I don't want to rush if that makes sense so that's enough chat let's crack on get these uh, radiators back and all this plumbing right so as I said we're going to go in from this side and get this radiator installed as a pipe at the top which connects into there and then you've got the two bolts so I'm just going to pop that up again I left the bolts in so I know exactly where they come from Thing I do need to do obviously because we need to change the actual clutch cable let's just pull that up and root it out of the way all right so that pipe So 
slides into position. Just loosely in place at the moment so it bites. just in place just in there with that Jubilee clip so I've just got to tighten that up right so now I can go ahead and actually tighten these bolts up So that's connected through, that one was already connected and then bolted in. Now I just need to put the stay in place and the stay bolt is there. And that pushes in like so. Right, so that's that radiator in position. And then we've got the plumbing line coming out from the front, or well, from the back, sorry. That's got to curve round and join the other side. So that fits like so I've just got to tighten that one up all right so that pipe's now connected and tightened now I'm going to spin the bike round and that's the other two hoses that go up to one to the radiator and one to the water pump so as I say I'll spin the bike round and we'll start dealing with this side Right, so bikes turn around on this side. Again, I need to wash some of the electrical connections. That's actually the tank connection. That should be top of the radiator. So again, that's the, the stay bolt. So obviously I've got these pipes here. And there's one up here, I don't think you can see that quite one yet. Alright, hopefully that should help. That's the other water inlet which connects into this one. So again, I just need to remove these two. So again, I need to install the actual stay from behind. Right, so there's a the stay in place and bolted in just there. So now I can bring these pipes up. As you can see, one goes to the radiator, one goes to the water pump. So that's the next job.
left is that one on the top of the radiator so I'll get that done right one thing I did forget is obviously put the coolant bottle back in before actually attaching all the hoses so I've just had to under the radiator take off the hose from the water pump mistake to make but yeah so the water the actual reservoir bottle has to go back in first and then you can bring the pipes actually up and around it I've already connected that hose I've just got the clip to do it's actually this one back on with the clip I can put the water pump hose back on all right so I just got to wiggle that in place and then tighten that hose up all right so that's all the radiator and all the plumbing basically for each side obviously the water inlets into the cylinder heads there's one buried down there they're all connected and tight As I say, so that's all the radiator plumbing and the radiator fan switch uh, connector all plumbed in. Again, apologies about the uh, overflow bottle for getting that goes in first before you can actually put the radiator in. Should have thought of that, but I suppose that's all part of well, it's learning. It's you know, I took these out and it's been a while. And you do kind of forget. Oh, the only other thing I've got to do is just bring that clip down. All right, let's get that sorted. Right, so the last bit we're going to do today is actually get these carbs back in position. Obviously the main thing I need to do is actually reconnect the throttle cables. So as you can see there's the cables. I just need to reattach them into these two and into this bit. So I get the bottom one in first and then the top one. Right, so both of them are in position. Just need a slight bit of adjustment when I've actually got the calves in place. And then we can go from there. So next job is get these calves in. All right, what I might actually do is actually drop this, the ABBA stand down to the ground. 
and get both wheels back on the ground it'll make it easier so let me do that first for sake because I am working as you can see out of height but when you try and put pressure on it makes it a bit difficult so I'm going to drop this down and then we get these carbs feed Right, so hopefully that'll be easier. Bikes back down on the ground. Right, and that's both. Back in. Just needs to do some slight adjustment on the throttle cables. Right, so the last thing to do is actually tighten up the actual clamps around the carb bases. So you can't quite see them from here but they're buried. That uh, one is just in there. So I'll get them tight and then that'll be it. Right, so thanks for joining me on that one. I hope it was kind of helpful to people even though I did make the mistake of actually fitting the radiator before I'd actually fitted the reservoir bottle. But as I say, I learn as I go, I'm not a fully trained mechanic. As I said, you know, there's um, disclaimers at the start of every video that these are not how-to videos. This is just a documentation of my journey through working through different bikes and repairing them and looking after them and rebuilding them. And as you saw with the, those who have watched the Z650 project, uh, a ground up restoration which we are yet to revisit to actually, uh, to actually finish that one off. So as I say, I'm learning as I go. Um, it is, I hope that like minded people can actually think, actually I can do this. That's what the channel is all about, it's have a go. I mean obviously if your bike doesn't need working on then don't do it. But if there is a problem and you think, I've got a manual, I can read through it, I can speak to people online, I speak to people on forums. Obviously there's uh, my patrons, I speak to those. I speak to the, the people that subscribe to my channel and that comment all the time. We regularly have different conversations of how things are done and what would you do and we swap information and ideas and that's kind of how this channel keeps going and keeps operating it's everybody coming together as like a mini community to help each other and show each other that some things aren't as difficult and as daunting as they seem as I say I've, I've basically or right, I've ridden bikes most of my life I've done the odd oil you know I used to do like the oil and spark plug change the basic things for anybody out everything else it was just like right that can go to a garage but as they're charging, the rates are 30, 40, even higher pounds in, well, UK, per hour. And, okay, this might take me a bit longer. I'm lucky I've got other bikes. But I'm actually saving a lot and I'm actually uh, gaining experience and growing in confidence. And I hope you, the viewers, can actually do the same. It's not as daunting as you think. You know, it is a learning process. You learn as you go. With the Z650 project, I photographed everything. If, I take, if I'm going to take something off, I'll photograph it. Obviously, I forgot with the cooler bottle. But generally, that's how I've learned. I will basically take as many photos. Obviously, I've got the videos to fall back on when I come to edit them. I can see, right, okay, that came out that way and I can work from there. But again, I do forget things. Sometimes it's, it can be up to a week since I work on it in, you know, if I can't work on a block, it will be a week before I'm back on it again and you, you forget things. 
But so like, any comments in the comments box below, I really appreciate all your feedback, all your comments. It's, there's some great ones I get. Um, there's, a, there's a lot to cover. I'll go into it a little bit in the next episode, but I actually want to make a video of the questions that I've had asked, uh, basically to show people and explain. So we'll, we'll, we'll cover it a little bit in the start of the next episode. As usual, there's links to uh, other videos, top left and top right, so go and check them out. I say, normally as a best reviewer and playlist, go check the playlist out. There's plenty in there now. The, the videos are racking up. Um, I'm nearing, I think, nearly 350 videos, so there's plenty to choose from. Any comments in the comments box below, really appreciate it, as always. And thanks for watching. Join me again next time. Cheers. Bye.